This is just a quick video for a commenter who is working on this L35 or L775 with the Wisconsin VG4D engine. Uh, the commenter was wondering about the, the wire paths for the distributor, ignition wires. And so I just wanted to show this here in the manual in case this is also something you need. The firing order is 1342 and I'm going to show you the, the cylinder uh, numbering as well. So as it says here, number one cylinder is the one nearest to the flywheel and the left bank of the cylinder is when viewed from the flywheel end of the engine. So you're going to be looking at the engine from the, from the rear side this way. So this would be you standing behind the, the skid steer. That's the PTO. So this is going towards the front of the skid steer. And if you look on here, you can see little tiny numbers. That there is one and that there is three. And then on the other side, it's two, four. And I'll show you what I mean. See here, I'm standing in the rear of the skid steer. Fly, uh, flywheel side of the engine is here. PTO side's there. And the cylinder count is, this is cylinder one. This over here is cylinder two. Back over to the left side, this is cylinder three. And of course, then back here is cylinder four. I'm going to take a closer look over here on this left bank because if your shrouds haven't been repainted too many times or maybe repainted ever, you might be able to see this little mark there. That's a one. I'll zoom in. You might be able to see there that's a little one impressed in there. And if we go back here. So this is moving towards the front of the skid steer, right? Towards the PTO side. There you can see a three. Then we'll go on the other side. All right, so going in on the other side now. So the right side of the skid steer, you can see the numbers here too. It says uh, two right there. And four. So again, this is the front of the skid steer, this is the rear. So one more time for clarity, the cylinder count, the cylinder numbering goes like this. This is one, two, three, four. And the firing order is one, three, four, two. One, three, four, two. Now for the distributor wires, We'll just backtrack from each of these to show where they go on the cap. So might as well start at one. Okay, so rear of the skid steer here. I'm on the I'm on the left side of the engine, and this is the number one cylinder. If we follow this wire down, this wire goes to the three o'clock position. So there's that wire there. Just to confirm, there it is. Okay. So the number one wire for the, oh yeah, look at that. The wire for the number one uh, cylinder is at the three o'clock position there on the distributor cap. All right, so since we're still on this side, we'll do this number three cylinder and we'll follow this down. And number three cylinder goes to, okay, right there, you can see the 12 o'clock position. That is the number three. Number three cylinder is 12 o'clock position. So next I'll just grab this nine o'clock. Grab this nine o'clock and we'll see where that goes. Here's the nine o'clock. So it's on the outside here. And we'll follow that up. Goes over here. This is that nine o'clock right here. And it's on the outside, it's still on the outside, and it's still on the outside. So that's going to go to that number four cylinder. So there's the nine o'clock position on the distributor goes to the number four cylinder. So just to make sure I'm being clear, that is, 
The number four cylinder is this nine o'clock right here. We'll put that back, which means that our number two is at this six o'clock down here. All right. So if I remember correctly, then it was one, three, four, two. And then this here obviously goes to the coil. If you're having some ignition troubles, uh, I, I did a few years ago, I you probably noticed that's a new cap. I had to get a new cap and I did the contacts and points and that ended up being a dead end and um, it ended up being the coil. So I'll, I'll throw up a, uh, the number for that coil. That's been a good coil. And here it is in the manual, a little closer look. This was that 12 o'clock position. So it's a slightly different orientation. I have it drawn, but that 12 o'clock position is cylinder three and then like we saw cylinder two is at that six o'clock three o'clock is cylinder one and nine o'clock is cylinder four and obviously that checks out because this was cylinder three let's jiggle that cord if we can see with that wire and that's three and then two was the one that goes on the inside up there. The outside one was four, four goes to nine o'clock. And then just that one left, which is uh, cylinder one. So, all right, buddy, I hope this helps you out and good luck with your repair.